In this video, we're going to take a look at taking multiple timecode sources in using our genetics nodes to a magic queue system. From version 196 onwards, we actually now support up to 11 timecode sources. You've got the standard main timecode input, and then we can use genetics nodes to take an additional 10 timecode inputs to a magic queue system. The genetics nodes that support timecode are our GN5 and 10, which have both MIDI or LTC timecode in and out on the nodes. So we connect our timecode source via LTC or MIDI to our node, and then over network, we can take that in to our Magic Queue system. Now that could be a Magic Queue PC system or a Magic Queue console. If we take a look at my Magic Queue PC system here, under setup, view settings, MIDI timecode, I've got my option to choose how I decode the main timecode source. Now our genetics nodes will either output timecode via ArtNet timecode or via CamNet, our CamSys proprietary protocol. When using ArtNet timecode, our genetics nodes could take in MIDI or ArtNet timecode and send out via ArtNet to any console or device that can read ArtNet timecode. Right now, I've set my GN10 node, if I go to my DMXIO window, my Net Manager window, select my GN10 and look at options, I've set the timecode in it's receiving to transmit out via ArtNet timecode. And if I come back to my setup window in my Magic Cube PC system, under MIDI timecode, I've set timecode decode to ArtNet. Now here's one I made earlier. On playback 10, I've got a couple of cues which I've already set to timecode timing and I've entered some timecode times. And I've toggled on my C encoder my timecode to read from the external source. I've got a timecode generator on the desk here. And if I activate this, you can see timecode coming in. And if I run the queue stack, it steps through those times uh, based on the timecode coming into my system. And you can see the timecode coming in at the bottom here. It's now completed and got to the end of this stack. If I now release my queue stack, bring the fader down, of course it's gonna reset the queues. Um, if I come back to my setup window, what I've actually done is I've taken the output of my timecode generator and I've now split that and I've plugged this into both my GN10 and GN5 inside this rack kit simulating having a multiple or secondary timecode source. I don't set this up in my setup uh, view settings MIDI timecode. I've got my main source as the ArtNet timecode. What I can do though is come to my view DMXIO window, Net Manager, and I need to configure my GN5. Now when I'm looking at devices here, every node on our network has an ID, a CamNet ID, and this is custom user set. So here I can set the ID to anything I like. And the way our external timecode works is that apart from the main source, which is always main, I'm sending that via ArtNet timecode, it looks at the CamNet ID of my device. And you can see my GM5 is currently ID5. I'm gonna set that to ID number 10. So I'm gonna type 10 and enter, and that's gonna renumber my genetics node uh, to have CamNet ID 10. So I, taking my other 10 sources in, I just need to set my CamNet IDs to a number between 1 and 10. If I wanted to take in the full 11 sources, I would set CamNet IDs 1 to 10, and I'd have my main coming in via ArtNet timecode. So I've set this one to CamNet ID 10, and then I'm going to go to the options for it, and I'm going to set the timecode in it receives to send out via CamNet, our CamSys remote protocol. Now I can verify that I'm getting the timecode in. If I generate timecode here, and you can see I'm getting the main timecode in here via ArtNet. But if I go to my setup window, and I go to view system, and I go to view status, I can view incoming timecode along one of the tabs along here. If I go to timecode slash DJ, you can see CamNet timecode 10 is receiving here from my genetics node with IP address 10.0.0.5. You can see that being received into the system here. This is also supported in our execute window. So if I go to the execute window and I make a grid, let's say a five by five grid, I can have timecode views in this window for viewing my external timecode sources, assign special, and then I can come along to timecode. And of course, timecode is gonna show me my main input, but if I did assign special and I said timecode along here, and I go and pick uh, CamSys timecode or CamNet timecode number 10 here, you can see this is showing that source as well. If I view the execute, there you go, you can see the main and CamNet timecode 10. So I've got a status view of seeing all of my timecodes coming into a system. How do I actually use this though? 
Uh, well, if I go into a Q stack, so I'm going to go to my stack number two, which is another one I made uh, just listening to timecode, and I go to the view options on that Q stack. I'm going to go along to the timecode tab, and along here, I can choose my timecode source. Of course, I do need to have a timecode of a Q stack uh, listening to external timecode. Right now, it'd be listening to the main timecode source. But by changing the timecode source here, I can pick the Camnet timecode source. Again, based off that Camnet ID, so mine is going to be Camnet ID 10. At this point, my stack 2 is going to be listening to Camnet uh, timecode ID 10. Now, if I reset my generator box again and I activate stacks 1 and 2, uh, they're both listening for external timecode. Uh, stack 1 here is listening via ArtNet timecode, its main timecode source. Now, that could, if I wanted to, I could have that in my settings uh, using the direct uh, timecode port on the console. Uh, but I've set that to ArtNet timecode at the moment, and stack 2 is listening to CamNet timecode from device with CamNet ID 10. If I now start sending timecode in, you can see it's now running through and triggering the queues on both of those stacks via the two sources coming from the two different nodes. So that's how we can set up our Magic Q console or PC system to now support up to 11 timecode sources into the system.